Hey, Steve Mignani here doing the Junkyard Crawl at Bernardston Auto Wrecking in Bernardston, Massachusetts with a 1992 Chevy Lumina Z34. You can see Z34 down here. And you got to say, you know, the Camaro Z28 in 1967 launched dozens of imitators. But here's the thing, the Z34 really earned its stripes as a performance car. Now you gotta remember, of course, Illumina appeared in 1990 and was built through 2001, replaced the Chevy Celebrity. Uh, it was a front wheel drive car and frankly heavily introduced or influenced, I should say, by Ford's Taurus of 1985 with the aerodynamic styling, the jelly bean design, some would call it. But again, the Z34 was a performance car. Now you gotta remember the Illumina was available two-door coupe, four-door sedan and also the APV minivan which is a different creature but they all shared the Lumina name but only the Z34 came with very special things like the trunk spoiler here which actually was wind tunnel validated fiberglass you can see it sort of here the fiberglass construction on that par for the course in the world of these sorts of things Z34 nomenclature on the sides front and tail and again Z34 plays into Z28 uh, and any number Z24 etc etc but the exhaust and the rear fascia on this were specific to the Z34 very cool almost like a, a bell shaped exhaust duels yeah real dual exhaust system on these things because these have a v6 and we'll get to that in a second other things found specifically on z34 four-wheel disc brakes there's the disc right there no drums on these like you'd find on a celebrity so you know pretty advanced stuff the body kit down low the skirts aerodynamic stuff here again z34 right there and something new in the back of these things was a fiberglass transverse leaf spring uh, right out of the C4 Corvette, at least same idea. So pretty evolved under the skin. Now these were front wheel drive cars available with either, this one here is the four speed automatic transaxle. There was a five speed manual that was possible in the Z34. And by this point in time, 1992, that silly 85 mile an hour speedometer stuff was out the window. But look at this, this one has a 180 mile per hour speedometer. Can you imagine this going a 180? I don't think so. Maybe 130, sure. But the tachometer we can see right there goes to 8,000 RPM, I think right there. And uh, the red line, of course, is not that high. It's 55 or, or 6,500 RPM. PM, which tells a lot about what we're about to see under the hood. But before we go there, here's the 1992 Chevrolet full line passenger car catalog right here. And you know, Chevy was still making a variety of different passenger cars for folks at this point in time. Of course, the Cavalier, the Beretta, the Corsica, the Camaro in its 25th year, the Lumina Coupe, the Lumina Sedan, and here's that APV thing right there. And yeah, still a full size Caprice for those folks who wanted to pull 5,000 pounds in a trailer. And you know, a little fun stuff here, working small. Cavaliers, interesting little cars. Here's the Z24 right there, again, playing into that Z28, uh, one car loading a, or launching a thousand ships. But here is the Z34, and it says here, Lumina Coupe is a luxury coupe, a sport coupe, an enthusiast coupe with a midsize room and comfort. And again, Z34, we'll get to the guts of what that's about here. And it says, you know, America's great all-around performance car for the money. Dale Earnhardt would say these words. Of course, a former or four-time NASCAR champion. And down here, uh, now for the best part, the Z34 is powered by the most advanced regular production V6 engine in Chevrolet history. The 3.4 liter twin dual cam V6 with multi-port fuel injection. Horsepower 210 at 5,200 RPM. 5,200 RPM, what? With a five-speed stick and 2,000 uh, foot pounds or at, uh, with the automatic. So there it is, kind of an interesting thing. Let's take a look at that. But again, dual overhead cams, oh yeah. And that engine, the dual overhead cam engine was not available in non-Z34. So let's get to that now. And here's a little teaser right here. Now the, the basic Lumina would have a 3.1, not so fast. The Z34 specifically has a 3.4. Here's the brag tag right here. And of course the hoods on these cars, the Z34s were also unique with vents not seen on regular Luminas. And up front, a somewhat blocked off grille again with these vents on either side. And the red bow tie, which means performance. At this point in time, whenever you saw the red bow tie in Chevy Land, you're talking about a hot rod Z28 or a Camaro or a Z34. Let's open that hood. 
And there it is, the mighty LQ1. Now this is the same basic short block, and I say very basic, uh, as the 2.8 liter 60 degree V6, which arrived uh, for use in Fierros and Camaros in 1982, et cetera. A very narrow V, which made it compact. But when you put four, well, four, uh, four valves per cylinder, two cams per head, it gets wide. In fact, if you look at it here from the side, you can see the engine is actually uh, about this wide, and it's even canted down at an angle to better fit. So it's an interesting engine, but once again, peak power on this thing, 5,200 RPM. And again, torque, 4,000 RPM, which is to say, if you're zipping through an intersection, you know, you don't get the full power until 5,200 RPM. So it's, it's an interesting high RPM, medium-sized V6, very advanced for Chevrolet's way of thinking. But just remember too, that around this same time, the uh, Chevrolet Corvette Z51, um, ZR1, excuse me, with the uh, LT5, uh, the uh, Lotus design twin, twin cam, etc., 350 engine, which was the big brother to this. So GM was very much getting into the, the multi uh, valve engine theme. And again, the Z34 is one of these examples. Now, 0 to 60 in 7.1 seconds. And again, that's front wheel drive, so it's not too shabby. Uh, these would run the quarter mile in about 15 and a half seconds. So, you know, for a front wheel drive American full size performance car, these things definitely earned their stripes. And the beauty is these vents in the hood were functional. And you can see right here, these are plastic uh, little things right here to prevent water from dripping down into the engine bay. But they are vents that allow air to get out at high speeds. And they certainly are more than just for looks. On this one here, we can see the structure of it, the plastic uh, little pan, and here's the vent to keep materials out. But these absolutely let air out and heat from the engine compartment. But I love how this thing looks like a baby Hemi. The spark plug tubes go right in here, straight down. Again, there's a cam here, cam there, cam there, cam there. Very wide engine. Let's pull one of these plug wires out if we can. And there should be a long old boot. I don't want to mess with it too much. Uh, can't come out. But anyway, the plugs go way down. So a pretty exotic thing. The cam belts are here at the front. I can only imagine what it's like to do a, you know, a belt change on this thing. I don't want to be that guy. But we can see right here, here's a torque arm right here. And this one isn't automatic, but with the five-speed manual, wind that thing to five grand, dump the clutch, and this thing right here is going to go boom like that. So again, uh, this one is uh, fully engineered to be driven enthusiastically. And you got to hand it to the GM engineers for, you know, rather than just sticking a 2.8 pushrod engine in this thing, they stepped it up and went overhead cam, uh, four valve per chamber, modern stuff on the old 60 degree V6. And again, went from 2.8 to 3.4 liters. And again, the 3.4 was only available in the Z34. Other things we can see here is how mother nature always wins in the end. The windshield is broken out of this one and you can see it's safety glass and it kind of gives us a nice little junkyard x-ray of what is safety glass. Here is this, the middle plastic laminate that was once translucent. You can see on each side of it the glass adheres but with the exposure to the sun of course it's no longer translucent or transparent for that matter. So interesting stuff to watch uh, something so advanced degrade to the basic elements here at the junkyard. So again, production on these things was you know, fairly healthy, or healthy of uh, 240,686 luminas built in 1992. Only 13,016 were Z34s like this. And once again, Z34 means 3.4 liter dual overhead cam, four valve per chamber, modern engine. So don't call it a, a celebrity or a citation. This is actually quite a, more, quite a bit more evolved car. Uh, so that's the story of Z34 and how Z28 led to this by way of a couple of detours. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the Seabag's YouTube channel. Uh, give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and by all means, hit the bell so you know when the next video hits, which is tomorrow morning.